Hi guys, so welcome to your Timeless Tarot. This is for the week ahead. So let's see. I've asked for this to work for all signs and for the collective as well. So let's see if we've got any guidance of what could be coming through next this week coming. So I'm going to split the deck and let's see what comes through here. So the first card to come out is the Four of Cups. Now this can be a bit of a worries me card. This can be a bit, um, you're getting offered a gift horse in the mouth but you're not taking it. So you're being offered things um, but you're wanting to do it on your own. Now I'm feeling that if you if you actually let people come, come in, I feel as though you're going to be sitting a lot happier within yourself. Something is on your mind, something you're struggling with. But you're very much a person that wants to do it all on your own. You're not very good at delegating. Um, and you're very good with just coping up, coping with things and carrying on with them yourself. I think what the universe is trying to say here is to give you some guidance. Say, you know what, if you do call in the help, if people ask to help and you feel that it's going to be beneficial to you, then call in that help. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's not a negative thing. It's not to say that you can't cope. It's the fact of um, somebody can probably help you along the way and then you can concentrate on other things and then you're not so bogged down and focused with this one thing that maybe doesn't need your time and energy or so much of your time and energy, energy as well. So the next card that come out is, to come out is the Two of Swords. So this is indicating to me that it's a very much in your mind as well. You can let go of these worries if you if this is what you're holding on to or this situation. You can let it go um, and by pulling the help that you need will enable you to do that a lot sooner as well. You can take off these bold blindfolds. I think a lot of it is probably could be in your mindset. It could be in your mind, should I say, is what, what you've been through in the past as well. It could be something that is probably it could be something reoccurring as well. And you're thinking, well, I've had this happen to me before. I'm not letting it happen again. Let's see what else comes through here. The Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Well, the Knight of Swords means that I think if you put these swords down, you're going to be moving ahead with clarity. The Knight of Swords, you're ready to charge on then. So I think this is very much relinquishing and letting go this week. Calling in any help that you can do. I always say as well, call on your spirit guides or your angels or God or source or universal energy, whichever you call upon if you do. And ask them, ask for guidance as well. Because with doing that, it's going to really realign your energies and your energy is going to look, look amazing then as well because it can pull us down when we have so much coming in. Now, the Knight of Wands that I've just pulled out here, this, can, this is a very slow pace emotional card this is so i do feel that if you relinquish things this week you get that you let others help you or even delegate then i feel that by the end of the week you're going to feel more in alignment emotionally and you're going to feel as though you're ready for the weekend and you've dealt with everything you need to because i feel if you don't Oh, yeah, and your energies are going to be totally where they need to be with the page of ones as well. So I feel if you don't, you could be harbouring on this for a few days. But I feel that if you sort of say to yourself, do you know what, I'm letting this go now. Um, I'm going to delegate. I'm going to move on from this. I'm not going to let my mind control my, my, my head and everything else. And I'm going to start to feel more in alignment. Yeah, everything is going to be exactly as it should be then by the end of the week. So I feel this is a bit of a look after yourself card as well. Don't take so much on. Don't take so much on. Delegate and then see what happens during the week. But I think that's the guidance I'm getting now. So, yeah, let's just see if I'm just going to call on these other cards here. And these are major arcana cards as well. So... You've not had any major arcana, so whatever it is, it's not something that major. It's not something that's really major for you to deal with. But I do feel as though it's mithering you a little bit here, and it's pulling you down. So yeah, so this is the the moon card. So this is basically letting things go, 
moving ahead, taking more in, taking control, and then this is going to take you down a complete new path, a new avenue, which is going to then bring you to where you need to be. So I hope that's been okay, guys. Have an amazing week. I'll probably draw a few more cards as the week progresses. But to end with, I think, feel as though if you let things go, you're going to get a lot more clarity in your life as well. So I hope that's been okay. Um, lots of love from me and the universe. Thank you.